a very rare discovery inside King Tut's tomb in ancient Egypt, stunned researchers. Ancient Egypt researchers stunned after identifying the DNA of the mummified remains of two girls found inside the tomb of Tutankhamun, archive reports show. It's almost a hundred years since British archaeologists made the history of discovering the lost tomb of great King Tutankhamun, King Tut, searching the Valley of the Kings where Egypt's great pharaohs were buried. Howard Carter solved the age-old question of where the ancient society boy king laid and earned himself a place in history books, but he did not do it alone, with countless local experts and skilled Egyptian workers helping him, all of whom were given no credit concerning this. That has since changed with a new exhibition at Oxford University shining a light on dozens of Egyptian men who helped Carter, ready to mark the sanitary anniversary this November. Since the initial discovery, several research breakthroughs on Tutankhamun have been made, including major discoveries made in his tomb. On opening King Tut's tomb, Carter discovered the mummified remains of two small humans, children, they were supposedly stillborn. Back then, the DNA identification technology did not exist, and so the remains were stored safely away. They were called 317A and 317B, and each had an individual set of inner and outer mummy-shaped coffins, nearly identical in design but varied in size. The remains were explored during the Smithsonian Channel's documentary, Secrets, Tut's Last Mission. Later, DNA analysis stunned researchers as it was discerned that they were girls and most likely Tutankhamun's daughters. Both had been stillborn, one at around four months old and the other nearly full term. Professor Salima Ikram, an Egyptologist at the University of America in Cairo, said there was such a high mortality rate for infants and children in the ancient world that it's not surprising. But this is, it's extraordinary to have them carefully mummified, wrapped up, cocooned, put in these coffins and placed in their father's tomb. As the documentary's narrator noted, the tiny mummies are an incredibly rare discovery. While there is no certain way to explain why the girls were buried alongside Tut, Egyptologist Dr. Joyce Tidelsley claimed that there might be a simple way of looking at it, suggesting that the girls were an insurance policy. Ancient Egyptians were overly keen on ensuring that they successfully entered the afterlife and would not bank on taking just one thing to protect them on their journey. Tutankhamun was, after all, found buried with some 5,000 items, all intended to accompany him in his afterlife, each containing some purpose or function. If one thing did not get them through the afterlife in their battles against demons and dark souls, another thing would. Dr. Tidesley explained Tutankhamun was very wealthy. He could have dug a grave for his daughters any time he wanted to. So the fact that their bodies have been saved and buried with him suggests that it perhaps is not just a practical reason, but there's a ritual reason for them being there as well. In ancient Egypt, art and culture, females were often cast as the protectors and would stand alongside their fathers as guard-like figures. For Dr. Joyce, the girl's burial signified more than being lucky charms, but active participants in their father's journey into the underworld. She said, by being there either physically in the boat with Tutankhamun or just having their spirit supporting him while he's in the boat, Tutankhamun will be protected by these two daughters. While King Tut is perhaps the most famous of all the pharaohs, it was not always like that. He had largely been forgotten with the passage of time, with his tomb relatively untouched by grave robbers because of its unprepossessing uh, nature. Considering he was a king, his place of rest was small and relatively unremarkable. What is even more surprising about this is that Tutankhamun would have been worshipped like a god in his day due to his several visible disabilities. The disabilities, likely inherited through inbreeding in his family, were seen as a divine gift in ancient Egyptian society, with people taught from an early age to respect anyone with them. Dr. Sophia Aziz, leading Egyptologist, writer, and researcher on the medicine of ancient Egyptians, speaking during Channel 5's documentary, Tutankhamun Waking the Dead, said, The ancient Egyptians were very enlightened. For them, disability was a divine attribute. 
So Tutankhamun would have not not have been stigmatized if he did not if he did have a club foot, he would have actually been seen as special. I have actually found some wisdom texts which are actually written for children. And in these wisdom texts they say don't make fun of the dwarfs, don't tease the blind and treat people with disabilities with respect and dignity. Some of the physical abnormalities Tut had, including an exaggerated overbite, a cleft palate, and a curved spine. And this is on uh, Express UK by Joel Day. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Finally, support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.